All right, we uh, set up the end caps on the tube in the lathe here so we can repeat this position here. And we've set our uh, tool bit against the edge here. And now we're going to go down and set the, uh, the pattern that we want to uh, cut the shape with. We went ahead and we put a, one of our spacers up here so that we can hold the tension on these bolts because the, uh, the, they bottom out before they get down here. That's the only reason why we got this on here. Um, anyway, the slots we put in there worked out fine. And we're just touching that up to our uh, stylus because our, our stylus is in position where our cutter is up there. We're just going to tighten this down right here. And we hope it's just a one-time set with all of our dimensions that we figured out and uh, programmed right in there. This should be able to come out, give a nice radius, a female radius here, a radius out to the outside diameter. All right, we'll go see, see how she's cutting. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start skimming. We made a preliminary run here. We know it's coming out past that diameter, coming out and out to there. Okay, so now we gotta get it to come in to where we're just gonna start kissing and cutting that uh, radius right in there. All right, we're going backwards. We're going to feed it by hand for right now. And we can get some more speed out of here. All right, Okay, what actually happened was is in reverse turning and then grabbing, I finally grabbed enough meat and material to go ahead and create a lock to the part and have it unscrew when it unscrewed it in lot or increased its speed theoretically because it's trying to unscrew from this thing uh, under force and that's what caused it to roll and damage. It did uh, score up the inside, I think the other end of the glass uh, or the acrylic tube is might be reusable um, but anyway uh, uh, that was an oversight on my part uh, we went ahead and we flipped this tool bit over so that we're uh, uh, tensioning the threads uh, which we, we do that all the time over here on this side with right hand threads um, so anyway we're all set up and now we're going to go uh, in this direction here same process It is fully uh, rejuvenated there. All right, we're gonna let this cool, and then we're gonna we're gonna attempt vacuum seal on this in the bag. And uh, we'll get back to it. There are some in there that have a little brown thing on there. I wouldn't want to leave the thing in there too long. Um, but it doesn't look like we've damaged this at all. Okay, same thing uh, again. We're going to get this in the bag so we can pour it easy.
All right, if you notice, here on the table, there's a lot of little tiny BBs that fall through the screen here. There's also some powder and um, some other real fine particles in here. So that's why uh, um, when you're building or having a restrictive flow uh, filter in, in, uh, in your uh, condescent holder anyway. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna get it in this bag. seal bag. All right. And uh, we did get our fish scales all off of here. And uh, vacuum sealers always work a little bit better in the damp mode, especially when they're used. All right. Time's going to tell whether we can uh, actually keep this um, vacuum seal packet. This is one use in our uh, plasma cam filter here. So this is a two bag quantity. These uh, mufflers, that's what they actually are, I found them in uh, McMaster car. Uh, they screw in uh, air motors and uh, th things like that to muffle the noise on the way out. Uh, the air capacity that passes through these is 21 cubic feet per minute. Uh, so they're, ex they're exceeding the cubic feet per hour that you usually have on a gas uh, uh, flow gauge. The uh, Micron uh, the breakdown on these is 50 uh, so 50 micron filter uh, is also what it can be classified as this is bronze and this is just a zinc plate here and uh, so I screwed one in each side of, of uh, the caps here so flow for either way um, the reason why we want to break down something uh, that fine is the desiccant and uh, I, mean, I got <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to scrape. Okay, here's the desiccant that 
fell through our screen onto the table and uh, some of it's BBs small BBs but some is fragment broken areas and also in our oven in here uh, you can see some and you can see it's a little browner in here well the the prolonged heat does destroy the desiccant so I you know that does look destroyed to me otherwise it would be just pink not not that uh, that golden burnt yellow uh, color um, down here you can see that this isn't burnt it's just uh, sucked up some moisture out of the air again anyway I was getting to it uh, uh, this fell through the screen so I think uh, the 50 micron uh, rating on on the mufflers is going to hold that stuff from passing through your line and into your uh, your uh, torch nozzles and things like that <clears throat> okay after uh, after we got those screwed in there we're going to go ahead and screw in the uh, the quarter inch now I'm not going to use Teflon <clears throat> Teflon tape or anything else this is brass here and it's screwing into a uh, a, a pipe fitting into PVC and I think you're going to have enough contact there that you're not going to need dope tape on it. Alright, we're just uh, assembling the rest of the O-rings on here. Alright, um, to get the PVC to slide freely over the uh, O-ring there, I did have to put just a slight bit of uh, uh, super lube on the O-ring itself so it would slide in and uh, give you a nice screw on the thread. Alright, so they are pretty sound. Air pressure here. And uh, we go ahead and we take our housing here. And we connect that, and we have soap in here, and we just want to make sure that uh, we are able to create a seal with those O-rings, and, uh, and we don't have any leak. Okay, we're ready to install this sucker now, so let's uh, undo this. We're going to find out much desk in one of these actually holds just so we know and uh, trim that off and uh, well we didn't pour up there there we go I'm not going to try to pull it all the way up. I'm going to say that's good right there. Alright. Now, <clears throat> we borrowed... I actually was going to go in and borrow a measuring cup and then the wife, uh, <laughs> she pulls one out and she goes, Here, how would you like to have one?